Welcome to another video of SyncBricks. In today's video, I'll show you how to install and configure OpenSense. OpenSense is one of the best open source firewalls which is available today. OpenSense includes most of the features which are available in commercial appliances today. So it has a variety of features. Core features are traffic shaper, two-factor authentication, captive portal, and forwarding cache proxy, high availability of hardware failover, intrusion detection and prevention, NetFlow exporter, variety of reports are there, DNS, DHCP, dynamic DNS. So there are many other features also available. The website is opensense.org. Open is O-P-N, OpenSense. And the first link that will appear here is opensense.org. It is free and open source. So firewall features are there, multi-van feature is there, virtual private networking is there, hardware failover, SD-WAN, next generation firewall extension, Xenomer. In next video, you can see complete tutorial of Xenomer, which is a great extension to open source firewall. And currently I'm using PFSense, but I'm planning to upgrade it. You can see here my PFSense is already working. We can simply go here to opensense.org, click here on download section, download it for AMD 64 bit. Okay, here you can see VGA in case you want to burn it on USB flash disk, so you can do that. But I'll be downloading the ISO image because I'm going to upload it to my virtual environment. So I'll be choosing the DVD here. These are the sources. So just quickly download it here. So OpenSense is already downloaded here. I'll be just uh, extracting it here because this is the zip file. Okay, it has been extracted. So I'll be going into my storage here, ISO images. And we'll just upload the image. 1.3 GB is the size of image. So this is the file name has been uploaded here file transfer successful now i need to create the vm so i'll be simply going here on top right i'll create the vm here and vm name will be open sense firewall here is an iso image so system i'll be choosing the default system here and then i'll be choosing the disk here and 32 gb it is more than enough uh, for my home lab CPU two cores I'll recommend and uh, I have 2 GB 2 GB is more than enough for this but I'll be using 4096 uh, VMBR 0 one network card for firewall I need to have two network cards here I'll be finishing this and again I'll go back once my VM is ready here it is creating the VM right now you can see here open sense this is ready I'll be adding another hardware here which will be network and in the same VMBR 0 I'll be adding the network now you can see here two network cards here net zero and net one so one will, will be used as van another will be used as lan so these are the two network cards here now simply we'll start this and till the time it starts i need to turn off pfsense so that it doesn't conflict there now you can see pfsense is disconnected and open sense is here so let me take you to the console installer so i'll be using the default installation and here is a 32 gb of hard disk where i want to install so select a disk to continue so this is my disk so continue with the recommended swap partition yes and uh, last chance are you sure you want destroy yes so we'll just wait for this process to complete Okay, now the installation is completed. So I'll be changing the root password here also. So this is the password I want to keep. And complete the installation. All right, as the installation is now completed, so I can simply remove the ISO image which was attached to the VM. So we can go here and simply do not use any media. So it will detach the media from here. And if we go into console now, so let us wait for the interfaces to come up. All right, so the basic configuration is completed here. It has automatically assigned the IP addresses to the interface. Let me check if the IP address is also assigned to my system. And here I'm able to get the IP address from the DHCP server. So I can now access the web interface, which will be 192.168.1.1. This is the default that it has got. I already changed the password of this, so root is the user ID and uh, now you can see here that the installation setup wizard. So this is how the installation setup will run. So I'll just click next and host name will be OpenSense and domain is 
in primary DNS, I'll be using Asia Muscat next. And here, uh, this is the WAN interface. So I'll be using static IP and I'm using the firewall already. So I'll be using static for that. 192.168.100.1 and upstream gateway. So here I'll be using two for this purpose. And next, now the LAN IP address. And next, and after that root password, I'll remain same. I will reload the configuration. Now, of course, my IP address is going to change because I changed the IP address to 192.168.240.1. So here is 240.1. Here we go with OpenSense. Now, as you can see here, everything is done. So, and here you can see the IP address for the LAN and WAN, both are set up here. And all of these services are running in case I want to restart or start the service, so I can do that as well. The internet is also working fine, everything is great. Now this was about OpenSense, I'll be showing you a plugin which will convert your open source firewall into next generation modern firewall, which is AI based. OpenSense is also recommending. So next generation firewall on OpenSense with Xenomer. Detailed video of Xenomer Next Generation Firewall is available in the description below where I have explained all the features of Xenomer Next Generation Firewall extension and I have also given you a quick tutorial and all the features are also explained. So here we'll be only installing the extension, our plugin section here and in plugins you will look for Sunny Valley. Either you can look for Sunny Valley or you can type Xenomer here, vendor repository for Xenomer, install. This was only the vendor repository which we have installed and these are all other plugins uh, like uh, Next Generation Firewall Extension and then Xenomer Connectivity Agent and then the Updater. So these all plugins needs to be installed. So I'll be installing these all plugins here. You can see here all the plugins related to Sunny Valley or Xenomer are installed now. Detailed video of all the features of OpenSense and Xenomer are provided in the playlist subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of new videos when i upload it